Funko. Oh no, 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 anything but this. No, what have I done? What is this game? Oh no, oh my god, it's you, Technics. PT fucking SD flashbacks. It's the Fast and the Furious game. Oh no. It's the Fast and the Furious game. But the PS2 game. Not any of the PS3 or PS4 games. No, I think this is the first ever Fast and Furious game. Right here. Also, my name is... Ha! Ha! Paul! I'll let you, uh, I'll let your imagination fill in the blanks for the rest of that. TFATF uses an autosave feature. Can you believe that? It's almost as if it's a PS2 game. Is there any PS2 game ever that did not have an autosave feature? Like, not counting, like, a GTA game? Like, well, let's be honest, dude. Anyway, um, there is a lot of copyrighted music in this game, so we are, in fact, going to not have that copyrighted music be playing in the background. How about no? <laughs> How about no on the copyrighted music that'll just take all my ad rev non-existent? It's not like I'm gonna get ads from this. Jesus fucking Christ, what am I talking about? I said fuck in the first 30 seconds of the video. Ain't no chance. Oh, we got driving assist, too. How about that? Semi-auto transmission and driving assist. Just straight up driving assist. Let's, uh, let's turn that off. Actually. I don't need any of that shit. Anyway, hello and good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to the Comic Cons Games channel, and welcome to the Fast and Furious on PS2. Now, when this game came out, there was, like, three movies for Fast and Furious, and, like, everyone agreed that... The third one was the worst one. And unfortunately, that is the one that this game is based off of, is the third movie. It is, uh, if you can't tell by the Japanese text. We are, in fact, doing the Tokyo Drift game. And if you can't tell by this, <laughs> this image, with, like, the climax of the Tokyo Drift movie, playing right in front of us here. You know something crazy? I fucking saw this shit. I was at work, and this shit was playing on, like, Paramount Channel. I hadn't seen this game in- I, I hadn't seen this movie in years. And it was like, wow, everyone looks so young. This is the famous Wong Gone Highway. This is where everybody oh god, on a line like this you'll see everyone come out to battle and it gets real dirty. Is there supposed to be someone talking right now? Or was that tied to music volume? We're gonna play a little game. Hello, YouTube. I would like to play a game. The video game in front of you right now is not actually a video game. It is a virtual reality simulation. And if you die in it, you die in real life. This dude's driving a Mazda RX-8. In fact, there are two Mazda RX-8s on the screen, apparently. No, no I don't, I'm very confused by what's going on in this cutscene. But in any case, live or die, the choice is yours. You know, fucking Saw's back too, dude. Fuck. It's like the mid-2000s is happening all over again, dude. Playing the Fast and Furious game. Saw's back. Oh, we're supposed to go. Oh god, get going. Okay, we're playing the game. Alright. We are playing the game. Here we go. Alright. So here's... I can't read that. You're not going to be able to read that if I can't read that. Oh, there is indeed traffic. Ugh. That is Hanzo. Hanzo. <laughs> oh, Hanzo jerk off. Oog. Oog. This car is very difficult to control. Okay, it's fine. The highway is very quiet this evening. Oh, I did good, apparently. Oh, there's fucking voices now. With that much cash? What do you mean? Is this gonna be like juice where I start off with $100,000? Nah, you can't take that with you. That's mine, dog. Cash awarded 6,000. Total cash 18,000. Nice. Nice. It's like Grand Turismo 3. We start with 18,000. How about that? That's another game that I've neglected playing on the channel lately. So I could play Fast and Furious on PS2 instead. Yes, indeed. This is a Eutechnics game. But you see, the thing is, is I'm pretty sure this is probably the best Eutechnics game. Like, ever. The best Eutechnics game that I've played, for sure. I mean, there's a, there's a few. There's, like, Big Mother Truckers that I haven't played yet. I bought that, like, five years ago and never put it in. 
Okay. Ooh, hello. It's 11 Corolla. My favorite. <laughs> nice. That is 11 GTA picks. All right. Shit. Why is it like poopy yellow, though? Well, yeah, let's get the true color on there. There we go. Much better. All right. So here's an actual sprinter. There it is. <laughs> so there's very little difference here. They're the same car, basically, except one has less power, and the Sprinter's actually worse. That's interesting. Also got a Sylvia. Never can go wrong with a Sylvia. That's always a great starter car. Midnight Purple especially. We got a Ford SVT Focus. Oh my goodness, JC. It's JC's car. Oh my god. We got an 06 Civic. What are we, what? Oh god. Oh, it's one of these Civics. Oh no, dude. Why would anyone buy this? It's got terrible speed, and it's slow, and it's expensive. Oh, we got an MRS. There's that yellow MRS. This thing haunts my nightmares, man. Jesus, it would have cost less to buy it in this game than it would have in real life. Oh, there's another MRS. So there's two MRSs. This game is like basically like Gran Turismo, but in Japan. Wait, that's just Gran Turismo. This is Gran Turismo, except way worse. Because we've got all these fucking licensed cars, and we have different, like, drives in the upper right-hand corner. It's like, dude, here's a 180SX, playing some Need for Speed Underground 2. Ooh, 99 Eclipse. This is actually my favorite body style for the Eclipse, I won't even lie. It's also all-wheel drive, so it would be terrible in drifting events, of which there are in this game. Here's a RX-7 Infinity. Those are always fun. A 93 Sylvia. 217 horsepower on this. This is pretty overpowered. Another Sylvia, another MRS. A Scion TC. Now we're playing Midnight Club Double Edition Remix. Man, oh man. Just everything that I look at in this game just makes me wish that I was playing better games. I'm almost out of money here. We could buy this Sylvia, but it's worse than the other Sylvia because this Sylvia has 217 horsepower. That other one has like uh, barely anything in eclipse an 04 eclipse that's a viable car for the start another sylvia and that's every car in the game all right that's every starter car that we can have so there's options there's a ton of options actually when you think about it there is a multitude of options for us to be able to have a starter car I think it would be intelligent to start with a rear-wheel drive car just so that we could do drift events because if I tried to do a drift event in a front-wheel drive car, we would be having a very bad time. A very bad time indeed. So what's the most interesting rear-wheel drive car that we can get out of this here? MR would also count, I suppose, as a rear-wheel drive car. Um, I mean, I kind of want to drive the Sprinter. <laughs> kind of want the sp well, not the Sprinter, the, the, the Levin. I actually like the Levin more than the actual Sprinter. This is the worst car I could buy, but it would also leave me with the most amount of money to be able to uh, purchase upgrades. So, this is actually a good strategy. Kamikaze p doing a good strategy in a video game and not intentionally making it harder on himself? What is this? What is this nonsense? No, I still bought the worst possible car that I could have gotten, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. That's how it is. It is how it is. It really do be how it do be. All right? Stop talking, Kamikaze. We have a game to play. Some MR cars are capable of very high speeds when tuned. Add spoilers and grip tires to improve high speed stability. <laughs> anyway, uh, we could buy performances. Upgrade, I mean. Yeah, buy performance parts. There we go. We can sell performance parts. Or we could paint. How about we paint? That sounds way more interesting. How does this game from like 2006 on PS2 have a better paint booth than any EA NASCAR game? You're about to find out how. So here we are in the paint booth. This is where we're able to change the body color. But like you see the problem with that is that I want it to be white. It could be matte white. Ooh, now it really looks like it. Now it really looks like a cartoon. How about that? We could do pearlescent white. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah, that's real, real stylish right there. I'm gonna do metallic white. I hope this doesn't cost me anything. I don't think it did. And then there's vinyls. So in this game, we're allowed to put a bunch of vinyls on the car. And it's kind of like Juice 2, where you can have, like, layers and stuff. So there's, like, designs and things. Like, that's pretty cool. 
We got uh, we got exclusive designs right here. That's pretty cool. Like, who, who, how could you go wrong with a fence? Oh my goodness gracious! This looks like a Nintendo DS game, dude. So we can scale it up, make it gigantic. Edo, I don't know what that stands for. Um, Edo file. Um, anyway, you can unlock the ratio. I think. Yeah, there we go. We can really squeeze it. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's attractive right there. Now, that, now it just looks like, you know, a scrape. Looks like the car got scraped on the side. There we go. How about that? There's other things that you can do in the paint booth, such as, you know, we got, ooh, great waves. Oh my goodness, just throwing on, like, a JPEG onto the side of this car. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh, 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 this is happening right here. Oh yeah, dude. How about that? Okay, this is actually- okay, I'm actually kind of okay with this now. I've decided I'm okay with this. Now, you see, the problem is, is that I don't think you can, like, copy- Oh my god, can I please just leave? Thank you. I can't- uh, yeah, I can't copy it onto the other side. I'd have to just mirror it on the other side. So I guess there's just one side of the car is gonna have this wave. It's a stylistic choice. And the Sprinter really doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with on the back. <laughs> Which is a bit of a problem when it comes to, uh... <laughs> putting stuff on. So we got like AM radio here. Like there you go. We just have to make it okay, maybe I should have locked the ratio. There it is. There it is. Yeah, you can barely tell. You can barely tell that it says AM on there. That'll just go perfect right there. That's the exact spot. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. The hood's always fun to put stuff on. But yeah, like I said, this game has a better paint booth than um uh, any EA NASCAR game, without a doubt. Now, what's annoying is that there isn't just a sponsor section where you can just, you know, go through here. National Autosport Association. NASA. Interesting. There's not just, a, oh, there's Playboy. There's a Playboy bunny right there. Nice. But yeah, you, there's no, oh, TRD. It's a Toyota, so we better put TRD on. Maybe I'll get a... Maybe I'll get a fast track into the uh, Xfinity 20. There we go. Put that right on the hood. Perfect. There it is. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. And I can't go from the left and go all the way to the end. You just have to go through the whole thing every single time. Unbelievable, dude. Anyway, so this is a... I don't know if I still have... I, I had this game earlier in my life, and then I got rid of it. I don't know if I still have the... Uh, oh, and there's uh, Tekken characters in here for some reason as well. So, you know, that's that's a thing. There's just Tekken characters in this game. There's Jack 5. The first four weren't good enough, so here's Jack 5. Yep, there's Tekken 5. Namco's here, too. I guess we'll just put Tekken 5 on the roof. I'm just, that's how much of a nerd Paul is. There we go. Beautiful. Now, any time that the uh, helicopter, the police helicopter is chasing after us, I'll have a free advertisement right there. Oh my goodness, this car is a joke. <laughs> this car has been a complete joke so far, but you know what? That's 100% okay. There. Now whenever we make passes, people will know who's passing them. Fantastic. So yeah, there's there. you can sink a lot of time into this, and I have sunk a lot of time into this, and hopefully I can find an old save file, and I can show some of the creations that I came up with in this absolutely nonsensical game. But in any case, there you go. That's just, we're 19 minutes into the recording, and I have done exactly one race. And I, you can barely even call it a race. <laughs> you can barely even call it a race, dude. We just drove in a straight line for a while. Like, what? FF cars are great for grip battles and some destination battles. Only some, not all. That's why we got the FR car right there. That's the reason. That is the reason right there. All right, so we could be sensible and buy performance upgrades to make the car better, you know, using all that extra money that I have. Like, here we go. Could max out the nitrous. That sounds like a great idea, except it gives us weight. It increases the weight of the car, which is, I mean, it's, it's a Corolla 11, so it's not gonna be, you know, desperately uh, heavy to begin with. There's intake, there's fuel. These are always nice and cheap. I mean, look at that. 750 for 13 or 3,000 for 16. Hmm. 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 
wonder what I should do. I do appreciate how all of these tires look different. That is pretty interesting, how they actually physically got different tire models for different levels of tire. So that's pretty neat. So we could get all those performance upgrades to make the car better, or we could get a bunch of visual upgrades. Like a spoiler, for example! That's important! Ooh, yes. Ooh, there's so many different varieties of spoilers! Should probably get the tall one. Tall one would probably be good. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, yeah! Fucking gorgeous, dude. Alright. Then there's side skirts, obviously. Oh, that lets us see more of the design. Oh, that's important. That, that helps us see more of the design. That is vital to this, uh, to this entire experience. Okay, front bumpers are always good. Rear bumper, um... Yeah, do the fat one. Nice. New hood. I mean, carbon fiber hood would get rid of the, uh, TRD, but, like, it's a carbon fiber hood. That's, like, basically, like, a requirement. Oh, Toyota TRD wheels. How about that? There's TRD Premium and TRE Team Fortress 2. TRD Team Fortress 2. There it is. That's the one I want. Hell yeah. Oh, we can make them bigger too. Sweet. Uh, oh, we can make them wide too. Wide boy tires. Yes, make them wide. We need as much grip as possible. Oh, you can make the rear one slightly bigger than the front one. That's like one of my favorite things to do in a Midnight Club 3. See, we're just comparing the game to better games at this point. Um, yellow neon kind of complements the blue, I guess. The blue is a bit, that's a bit too blue. The white neon is a bit, uh, sus. Pink neon. Maybe. How about the light blue? I like the light blue. Ooh, the dark purple is pretty good too. Jade. Jade's alright too. Ooh, ooh, I actually like, I, okay, dark orange is where it's at. That's where it's at right there. Nice. Full wide body kit's also a thing. And there's driver charms. Uh, you unlock these as the game goes on. We start off with Pac-Man ones. We also got Figar from Dig Dug Digging Strike. So that's cool. Here's Puka. I don't know if that's a racial slur in some, for something. There's a, there's a Katamari drift charm. Oh my goodness, dude. And then there's the Tekken Drift Charms, of course. Can't forget about the Tekken ones. That looks like fucking, uh, Assassin's Creed right there. That's, that's amazing right there. That's what that is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's, there's options. You start the game off with options, which is fun. I'm gonna get Clyde. I'm gonna get myself a Clyde. There we go. Uh, we got Valve LEDs. <laughs> you should mark, match that with the orange. Window tint, that's also important. Ooh, the light blue complements the side thing, I think. Oh, this car is so cartoonish already. And then there's Nitrous nitrous Purge. I must buy Nitrous first. Well, I actually managed to have enough money to actually get some upgrades first, so let's... Obviously, I need... I have the crutch of being terrible at video games, so we're gonna add Nitrous first things first. And then from there, there's pretty much... We could do just about whatever we want. Weight reduction is always nice. Um... I'm already out of money, basically. Let's try the, uh... Fuel system's cheap. 750 for a good increase of speed there. Turbocharger's always fun. We've got just enough for stage 3. Which would give us 69 horsepower. Nice. Intake. We could, uh, slap that on. It does change the thing on the corner there. Look at that. Oh, that nonsense. It just gets bigger and bigger. Maybe we should uh, consider brakes. Oh my goodness, those are some large brakes. Large, large brakes. We've just got basic brakes at this point. We got stock brakes. Um, transmission is good. Quicker acceleration and whatnot. But like, you see, the problem with that is that if we're going to be doing the highway races, we want a higher top speed. And I don't think there's any way to actually, like, change that. Clutch and flywheel means we'll shift faster. That's always good. Racing clutches are usually useful. I don't know how much they'd be useful in this game. I'm just, I just don't have just, I'm just shy of enough money to be able to do good stuff with this. I mean, we can get the clutch. Max out the clutch. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right. We're ready to go. We're ready to roll. Finally. 27 minutes and 9 seconds into the fucking recording. And we are finally ready to start driving this car. Hell yeah, dude.
Hell yeah. Good shit. Good shit. All wheel drive cars are not suited for drift battles. Drifts can be initiated through weight transfer, but a wheel drive cars will move the power to stabilize the car rather than keep the drift going. Which just makes uh, the movie funnier when he's drifting with a Lancer the entire time. Maybe it's one of those rear wheel drive Lancers that you see, you know, one of the cheap ones. Oh my goodness, what is happening with the front end of that car? Why is it so high up off the ground, dude? Alright, well we're playing the game. Okay, we're gonna need to, like, increase your voice. Sound, volume, speech. Maximize the speech. There we go. Alright, now we'll actually be able to hear what this dude is saying. Yeah! All right, it is time to play the game, maybe, at some point in time here. Yes? Okay, game. Video game? Is, is he gonna talk? Okay, I got boost. Oh my, oh, we're going fast. I think we missed a lot of the tutorial by me having to turn his voice up. We may have skipped the entire tutorial here. Oh god, there's giant floating ends. Yo, here comes an off ramp. Remember, this is Japan. The off ramp exits are on the left. If you think your ride is up to it, you can roll up on any. Are you sure you wish to enter the Aquiline Bridge hotspot? Sure. FF cars are not suited for drift battles. That's why I bought this car instead of the Eclipse. Oh lord, okay, hello. Okay. Cutscene is happening. It's got a, a green filter for some reason. A heavy, heavy green filter on there. When a crew is defeated, a crew sticker is awarded. Nice. I like stickers. We're gonna cover this car in as many stickers as possible, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Okay. Here we are at the place and stuff and things okay so here's this guy Chris daily driven his specialty is destination battle he has a 97 Sylvia he gives me two a thousand dollars when I win Chris is the youngest member of team daily driven but that doesn't hold him back from being one to watch he has a similar driving style to Trin who the fuck is Trin when Chris is not behind the wheel, his focus wanders. But when pushing his S14, he is driven to win. Yes, every character in this dream is gonna have is going to have a is gonna have a full fucking biography. All right. Like here's this dude in a Scion TC. I knew a dude that had a Scion TC. He was like fucking. He was like the same age as me, and he was a beaner, and he fucking rotted the shit out of that thing, and it fucking was not good. I thought I saw a Dodge Charger. It's an 06 Charger, so it's not like mine, but it's still a Charger. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. We gotta drive driving a Charger here. Now, I could drive against whoever, like, I want to on this list, but to, you know, complete the game, we gotta beat everyone. So we may as well start at the start. Here we go with Chris. Destination battle. Race your rival to the finish line destination. Point-to-point -point rules with no second best. Okay, whatever you say, loading screen. This stuff is going to be as cringe as a uh, Need for Speed Pro Street, probably. It's weird that, that you know, couple year period in the mid-2000s where, like, these games were, like, <laughs> where this shit was the top stuff. We need to move it. All right, speed. Speed is happening. Oh, no, Chris is very fast. Oh, no, Chris is fast. Got to use that nitrous. Speed! Speed! <laughs> Come on, car, go, go, go! Come on, car, you gotta go faster than this. Oh, we're so evenly matched. Is there drafting physics in this game? There might be drafting physics, because I feel like I'm going way faster in his way. Oh! Okay. Do we get recharging nitrous, by the way, or are we stuck with, like, whatever it is? Dude, I think something bit my ankle. Like, right- Oh god, that did not sound good. Oh, there was a traffic incident back there. There was, in fact, a traffic incident back there. Oh, dear. 
All right. I think something bit my ankle because right on the bone there's like a purple spot that's been getting bigger lately. Like if I got bit by something fucking poisonous and I'm gonna die because it bit my fucking ankle for some stupid goddamn ass reason. Like how the fuck did it even get there? Like I always wear socks to bed now because it's so cold out. I remember for like 15 years of my life I went without wearing socks to bed and then I wore socks to bed one night and I was like, oh my god, this is actually the best. Okay, Chris is terrible. Dude can't even hold a straight line. Does anyone know where the finish line is? Oh! Oh god, okay, never mind, I take it all back, I'm just as bad as Chris. I can't rely on my nitrous though, because we're gonna run out of it at some point. Oh dear, perhaps I should have bought the turbo upgrade instead of the clutch upgrade. Oh, instead of all these fucking visual mods. Does anyone know where the finish line is? I need to know when- oh, that was the finish line. Holy fuck, okay, we almost lost the first race. <laughs> oh no, that would have been bad. But I finally have money. Yay, money. That's good. Yeah, let's take a look at this shit on my ankle. Like, look at this, it's all dark purple, dude. I'd think it was just a bruise if I didn't see, like, the bump a couple days ago. Like, a couple days ago it was a bump, and now it's a dark purple spot. That's pretty fucked up. Hopefully I don't die. Anyway, Chris almost beat me in the first race of the fucking playthrough. Oh. Uh, yeah, we won. We beat him by a tenth. I guess we'll view the replay and try and get a thumbnail. Yeah, thumbnail time. Woo! Oh, what is this camera? Okay. All right. Oh, dear. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what a camera angle this is right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the intensity. The shaky cam. And look at the orange rim things. The, the rim LED things. Oh, my goodness. This is happening. Oh, no. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a very intense event right here, man. You can tell. You can tell by the shaking on the camera. Oh, man. Wow. Unfortunately, yeah, they, I can't change the fucking camera angle, so I can't see that traffic It's in there, Paul. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not awful. I mean, all things fucking considered, this is a perfectly mediocre racing game for PS2. Alright, it's ne it was never gonna be Need for Speed, but you see, the thing is, is that they tried to be. They tried to be Gran Turismo with all the upgrades and all the, like intense nonsense regarding that. They really wanted this game to be big. Some big time stuff. I'm guessing what happened is that there was like some other game that they were trying to develop and then like someone came in and like, hey, Universal Studios will give us a million dollars if we make it a Fast and Furious game instead. And they were like, well shit, guess it's a Fast and Furious game now. <laughs> like this is way too in-depth. For just some for for some movie tie-in game, like let's be honest. Anyway, that's that race done. And I overdrove the corner. Flow. Going 40 miles an hour into this corner, and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! 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 He's spinning! What a fucking chair! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that? This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good! And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks.